Okay. Ayan. Hi everyone! Magandang Monday morning! Kamusta po kayo? Uh, my name is John Baluyot and I'm the current president of the Philippine Society for Talent Development. Um, Na-miss ko po kayo, no? <laughs> ilang, ilang linggo rin po akong hindi nakapag-anchor at nakapag-moderate. Pero dahil po ito ay sobrang lapit sa puso ko, talagang nag-volunteer po ako to start the session for DigiTeach. Okay? Um, now, while everyone is entering, siguro let's do muna a very quick Zoom poll para malaman natin kung ano yung demographic ng no, mga tao na nandun sa room. Tapos while you guys are answering the poll, some of you can also say hi and hello in the chat room naman. Yan. So can you can you vote for the can you can you use the Zoom poll to vote number one whether or not you're a public school or a private school teacher, um, whether you are currently teaching in primary, secondary, tertiary, postgraduate or vocational. Ano yung age group nyo? What is the location of the school? Where is the location of the school where you are employed? Tapos, yung last na question, were you able to attend the PSTD Training Needs Analysis Sprint? Ito yung kamusta ka teacher, yung kinondak natin last June 5. So, naka-attend ba kayo nito? Para makita natin kung ilan yung na nakakaalala na nag-ask muna tayo ng mga teachers kung ano yung needs before tayo nag-start. Okay, Nat? Kamusta na? Marami na bang nag-answer sa ating Zoom poll? Kasi we now have 300 people in the room. Hi. Ha Hello, Kaiza. Hello, Shake. Kawai kawai Hello. muna kayo. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's very nice seeing you Good morning, here. Good guys. I'll introduce you in a bit later. Ha? Naku, alam niyo po, si Kaiza at si Shake ay ma malapit sa aking puso yan. Si Shake po, <laughs> si Shake ay... Dati ko pong guidance counselor yan sa USP. <laughs> Patingnan mo ngayon dyan, di ba? Masaya ka sa pag-ibig mo. <laughs> Tama yan. <laughs> so, so dati, ano, ano po yan? 2002 yata or 2001, no? Shake, grabe, ang tagal na. So, doon po kami, nagt doon po kami nagtatambay sa guidance office. <laughs> Tapos si Kaisa naman, kabatchmate ko po siya when we studied in Australia last year. So, yeah. we just came home last December and January. Um, sa, dun, dun, nagpakasal po kami <laughs> to different people. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alright. Okay, so sige, tingnan natin yung poll results, no? So the poll result says that 72% of our, ano, are public school teachers. Right. Tapos, secondary, yung pinakamarami at 47%. Um, age group wise, ang pinakamarami is 20 to 30, tsaka 31 to 40. Alright, tapos, oy, I, I'm so happy na meron na tayong Visayas in Mindanao, oh. 9%, 9% are Visayas and Mindanao, at Luzon natin is 82%. Nice. Tapos, were you able to attend the TNA Sprint? 21%. Okay, sige. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagsagot. Now, let me just go through some of the slides para you know why we're here. No? So, si PSTD po, meron po tayong tinatawag na task force na Oplan Hope. Ito po yung three-month na task force na BU natin para po sa crisis. You know, para si PSTD po kasi is a non-profit organization na uh, tawag sa kanya is Philippine Society for Talent Development. Tapos, our community is a community of trainers teachers, coaches, mentors, yan, yan ang ating mga ano, and other types of people enablers. So, HOPO stands for Hang On People Enablers. At dalawa po yung ating objectives para po sa Oplan HOPE, no? Help now and gain later. Help now is, we want to support the Philippine learning community as we cope during the crisis. Tapos gain later is, to be able to sustain PSTD along the way. Kasi syempre, wala rin naman po kami masyadong pera, alam nyo po yan. Ang PSTD po ay, kumbaga, yung mga trainings po ni PSTD dati na face-to-face -face na wala po yun lahat. So as you can see right now, we're starting to shift to digital. Um, and during that phase, meron na po tayong mga nagawang mabuti. No? So yung help now natin has translated to PSTD Learn From Home series. Si PSTD Learn From Home series has finished around 47 classes in the last three months 
with around 13,000 live Zoom attendees and 1 million minutes viewed both in Zoom and Facebook. Can you imagine that? Ang dami na po nating na-inspire at natulungan na mga talent development practitioners mainly because of your attendance and your generosity rin to our programs. Now, ito po yung ating website, uh, ito po yung ating Facebook page, no? Facebook.com slash MyPSTD. I-follow nyo po yan kung gusto nyo pong makakuha ng updates pa regarding do sa mga free webinars. And at the same time, kung gusto nyo po makita yung mga videos na natapos na, nandyan lang po sila, pwede nyo po silang panoorin. Pero wala na pong certificate of attendance yun, ha? Talagang for self, ano na lang po, self-education na lang. Tapos ito naman po, yung ginawa natin na training needs analysis sprint. Di ba sabi nyo po, karamihan po sa atin ay hindi naka-attend ng ating training needs analysis sprint. No? Um, ito po yung ginawa natin. Nag-interview tayo ng 1,000 plus na teachers using, using um, Zoom. Tapos yung 1,000 plus na teachers po na yon, ang resulta po na lumabas ay ito. One out of three teachers feel unready, uh, feels unready um, to resume classes because of the crisis. At ang pinakamalaking challenge po nila is yung digital equipment capacity. Right? Yan po yung isang pinaka main challenge sa readiness. Tapos meron din po tayong nakuha na information na one out of four teachers is not confident to teach come start of classes. Um, ito po yung mga top sources of stress na Manila. Fear of COVID infection, their internet connection, developing digital skills, etc. Napakaganda po nung nakuha natin na data, no? 1,000 teachers. Ito naman po yung how most teachers manage stress. Ayan. Sige, tingnan nyo lang po. Uh, why I'm showing this to you is because these are the, these are the, this is the report that we got, no? in order for us to be able to come up with an output as DigiTeach. So si DigiTeach po, ito po yung pre-namis namin sa inyo. Diba, nung tinanong namin kayo, sinabi namin na, o oh, sige, ano yung mga problema or challenges ng teachers? Si DigiTeach po yung sagot natin. Sabi namin, we're gonna give you at least five. DigiTeach now is giving you eight free learning sessions um, scattered across four themes. Preparing the mind, preparing the heart, preparing the hand, and preparing the soul. So lahat po yan ay nandun sa PSTD page natin. Libre po ito. So kung hindi man kayo makapasok dun sa Zoom capacity namin na 500, pwede pa rin po makakatch up yung ating mga teachers kasi live po tayo sa Facebook. So pwedeng pwede nyo pong i-share yung ating content para hindi lang po tayo yung nakikinabang. Pati po yung mga ibang teachers natin na hindi ma-access ito, makinabang din po sila either live or after matapos yung training kasi masa-store lang naman po siya doon. Um, sige, I'll skip these na kasi some of these naman um, we can just discuss later. What I'd like to introduce now, of course, would be our main event people. So we have Shake. Our, um, si Shake Hawkson is um, our main speaker. She's going to be um, introduced by Kaisa a bit more later. Pero I'll introduce Kaisa kasi Kaisa is our moderator. So as I have mentioned to you a while ago, Kaisa, um, Ka Kaisa and I, we are Australia Award Scholars. Tapos we just went home from our studies last December and January. So si Kaisa used to, be, uh, used to teach in preschool and grade school. And she currently works for Beyond Education. So Beyond Education is an organization that helps schools and school systems improve education quality and access and participation for all students, right? She also has um, advocacy called Kapit Guru. Um, and she has worked with teachers to establish communities that support each other to improve their practice and strengthen their well-being, which is swak na swak sa topic natin today. She graduated with a Master of Education, specializing in educational management and leadership from the University of Sydney. Talaga naman, napaka-bongga si ni ating ano, Kaisa Sol Cruz. Kaisa, how are you? I'm good, John. Thanks for inviting me here and thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here with the teachers again. So maraming salamat for this opportunity. You are most welcome. And thank you for being part of the TNA Sprint. Now, you're also a panelist there together with Jasper Nugo. So, yeah, yeah, you're 
Welcome. Yeah. All right. So, sige. So, so Kaisa, can you now um, start to introduce our main speaker? Ah, sig siguro, let's start muna with the reminders, no? Before you introduce Shake, para dire-diretso na tayo mamaya. Yes. Okay. So, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Kamusta po kayo? Again, I'm happy to be here with you. Um, na mention ni John na I was also part of the panelists ng PNA. So, I'm very aware of your needs and kung ano yung mga pangangailangan ninyo in terms of well-being. So, today, um, before we start, we would like to go through some reminders with you, no? So that we can all learn together better. So, one is that lahat po tayo nakamute. Um, so, automatic po pagpasok ninyo, nakamute na po kayo para po um, mas madali pong yung flow natin at mas madali po tayong magkaintindihan. Um, aside from that, meron din po tayong Q&A button sa baba ng screen. So, kung meron po kayong tanong, doon nyo po pwedeng itanong. So, hindi nyo po kailangan i-unmute yung sarili ninyo. Kailangan nyo lang po i-click yung Q&A icon sa baba ng screen at doon nyo po ilagay ang questions ninyo. But aside from that, meron din po tayong chat function. So, yung chat function naman po, pwede nyo ilagay yung insights ninyo at yung inputs ninyo. And you can interact with each other po and with the panelists doon sa chat function natin. But before you do that, paki-check naman po yung chat function niyo kung lahat po ng messages ay address to all panelists and attendees. Kasi po may nakikita po ako nagme-message like si Ma'am Leonora, tsaka Ma'am Lita. Nakalagay po, "Good morning." And we're okay po, Ma'am, pero all panelists lang po yung nakakakita ng message niyo. So mas maganda po kung i-set po natin yung setting ng chat sa so all panelists and attendees. So i-click niyo lang po yung two. Tapos, i-click nyo po all panelists and attendees. Ayan. So, nakikita ko po, dumadami na yung nagchat-chat to all panelists and attendees. Thank you po. So, aside from that po, reminder lang po, yung questions ninyo, mas maganda po na ilagay ninyo dun sa Q&A tab kesa po dun sa chat. Kasi po, pag sa chat, dami pong nagme-message yan, daming nag-good morning, ang daming natutuwa, tsaka ang daming nagbibigay ng inputs hindi po namin makikita yung questions ninyo agad. So, kung may question po kayo, ilagay nyo po dun sa Q&A tab. Okay po ba yun? Okay. So, I'm sure you want to know about the certificates. Kasi importante yan sa atin as teachers. So, ang certificates po, magkakaroon po kayo nun kapag more than 40 minutes kayo magstay dun sa session natin today. So, automatic po yan na pag naka 40 minutes kayo today, meron kayong receive na email, which is a post-evaluation of the session. Kapag sinagutan niyo po yung post-evaluation, makakatanggap po kayo ng certificate. Sigurado po yun. So, kaya po ganun kasi, of course, PSTD wants feedback on how to improve. So, importante sa amin yung makakuha kami ng feedback ninyo, malaman namin kung ano yung tingin ninyo doon sa session, and how else we can improve the sessions for you. Pero, um, applicable lang yung evaluation na yun kung medyo tumagal kayo sa session. Kasi syempre, di ba, kung 10 minutes lang kayo sa session or 20 minutes lang kayo, parang unfair naman if you're evaluating the session if you weren't there for 40 minutes or more. So, yun po yung sa certificates. But, meron din po tayong mga attendees na nasa FB Live. Yun nga lang po, pag nasa FB Live kayo, um, wala pong certificate yun. Um, kasi po, limited din po yung registration natin. And aside from that, John, meron pa ba akong nakalimutan sa reminders? No, that was so succinct, Kaisa. Thank you so much. <laughs> you can start introducing Shake now para we can turn over to her very Alright, uh, sige. So, ang topic po natin today ay basics of teacher well-being. So, na-mention po ni John na nagkaroon tayo ng PNA Sprint noong June 5. It's really a kamustahan session with teachers. So, 1,000 teachers po yung kinamusta namin. Tapos, interesado kasi namin mal kami malaman kung paano pa kayo masusuportahan better. Doon sa TNA Sprint, nakita namin na talagang stressful tong time na to for teachers. Kasi, aside from worrying about the school year, preparing for the school year, parang hindi tayo sigurado kung ano yung mangyayari sa future. So, merong aspect ng pandemic na parang yung safety natin na compromise meron din aspect na feeling ng mga teachers, hindi pa sila prepared for the school year. So, nag worry yung mga teachers about how they're going to teach their students given the lack of equipment. Di ba, ma'am, sir? Yung mga students natin, hindi natin alam kung meron na silang gadgets. 
hindi natin alam kung may internet access sila. Tapos yung teachers din mismo, naninibago pa dun sa online learning or sa distance learning. So this is really a stressful time for teachers. Um, all the more that we need to take care of ourselves. Kasi kung hindi natin naalagaan yung sarili natin, paano tayo magiging space for others? And how can we take care of our students? And how can we take care of others too? Our colleagues, our families, di ba? So, hence, we thought of this um, very um, relevant na seminar or webinar today, which is Basics of Teacher Well-Being. And um, hindi ko na po papatagalin para po makasimula na tayo sa session ngayon. I-introduce ko na po ang ating very esteemed speaker, si Dr. Sheila Marie Hoxon. So, Dr. Hoxon was the former president of Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association, which is the premier PRC-accredited and integrated professional organization for counselors in the country. So, hindi lang po siya um, very well um, integrated into the guidance counseling um, uh, dito, um, world here. Meron din siyang mga credentials from abroad. So she was also a branch leader for the American Counseling Association. And aside from that, uh, right now, she is the current direct guidance director of FEU Manila and Makati branches, as well as a PRC CPD Council for Guidance and Counseling. So, si Dr. Hoxon or Sheik uh, got her PhD from the University of Santo Tomas. But aside from that, meron din siyang academic credits from University of Nebraska Kearney, as well as the Bex Institute in Philadelphia. So, she is a leader in her field. Um, she's won many awards here. And under her leadership, she was also able to lead PGCA to win the American Counseling Association Branch Best Innovative Practice Award. So, she's a guidance director, a human resource practitioner. She's also a consultant to many international and local development organizations. She's an author, a curriculum develop developer. Siya na, no? Ang dami niyang mga ginagawa. Tsaka talagang professionally, um, there, madami siyang nakocontribute sa field. So, trainer siya. But aside from that, teacher din po siya at educator, katulad ninyo. So, I'd like to introduce teachers, uh, Ma'am Shake. Ayan. Yeah, Good morning, Ma'am Shake. How are you? A blessed morning to everyone, especially to our dear teachers. Thank Good you so morning. much to uh, John no, for inviting me over. You're maraming, welcome. Maraming salamat. My former student, natotoy pa dati. Ay, walang bukingan. Grabe ka. <laughs> and I'm proud of him that uh, he's now leading the PSTD, no? the Philippine Society for Talent Development. Yeah, yeah. napakaganda ho ng org na to. Very talented talaga mga tao. Of course, to Kaisa no? for, for joining me also this morning. Okay. So magandang umaga ho. To all the teachers out there, based on demographics, uh, we have 70 public school teachers. Maraming maraming salamat po. I'm really blessed to and honored to to serve you. Gusto ko talaga mag-serve sa public school. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay. So, uh, my assigned topic to uh, John, it's all about the basics of teacher well-being. So, kagabi nag-uusap kami, uh, medyo pinagaan ko po siya kasi gusto ni John is basics lang. <laughs> so, I do hope that I can meet all your expectations for, uh, for this morning. And uh, based on the rationale that we had, no? based on the, the research and uh, the surveys that, uh, that John and the PSTD had is that marami ho talagang concern sa mga teachers and uh, medyo marami tayong tutok sa bata pero wag ho natin kakalimutan ang uh, well-being ng ating mga guro. Okay. And uh, ayan po ako, payat pa ako dati ngayon, medyo tumapan <laughs> And I'm a staunch advocate for anti-bullying career development, family, marriage, life, and child protection, and of course, the well-being, especially of my co-advocates in the helping professionals, including the, the teachers, the counselors, the psychologists, no? mga kabaro ko pong psychometricians, and of course, social workers. And I'm encouraging you to, 
to participate with our activity, okay, through the comment section and the poll that we'll have, okay, and my hashtag for this morning. So when you post it, I do hope, or when you share it, I do hope that it can also be a blessing for others. It's a dash tag PSTD Wellbeing Program. And uh, my agreement with you because uh, somewhat idol ko po talaga ang uh, positive psychology and I'm, I'll be uh, using a little snippet of uh, cognitive behavior and, uh, and positive psychology. I would like to uh, let you somewhat no, focus on the following and uh, we will also have some strengths-based program in this morning's activity. I do hope that you focus on your strengths. Okay? I do hope that you also focus on your family and your loved one's strengths. Now, me as a young parent, and uh, I'm also a mom of two, so my parenting is also one of my advocacies. Your colleague's strengths, your co-teachers, your bosses, no? And nakita ko po, napakarami po dito, no? coming from SDOs, no? from different places in the, in the Philippines. No? So focus also on the strengths of our colleagues. Uh, our community strengths, of course, DepEd and all our institutions and uh, in our organizations, and I, and I do hope that you nourish your strengths, no? and I do hope that we be grateful for our God-given strengths. Okay. And uh, my objectives, our objectives for this uh, uh, morning is to have the knowledge, the skills, the attitudes, and values, to have the basics of psychological well-being through our strengths. Okay. And I do hope that uh, we also have the readiness, no? the mental toughness, no? and the grit to face the normal no? now for a flourishing life. And uh, our situation now is what they call the age of disruption. Okay? So as you can see from the traditional activities that we are doing, we are now on the, the virtual meetings. Now we have some Zoom uh, fatigue, the, the, the social network, social media. And of course, uh, we were all coerced no, to, to go for the, the digital world that we have. Okay? And uh, this is what they call the VUCA world or what they call the volatility. No? Pag sinabi pong volatility, napakabilis na mga pangyayari. And of course, uh, uncertain. We don't know when will it end. We don't know kung mahawahan tayo or hindi. So nakakatakot talaga. And of course, everything was complex. No? The first wave of the researches that we have is more on the physical. And the second wave now, it is what we call the financial. Napakarami ho talaga naghirap na tao. And wala na trabaho here and abroad. And uh, we are thankful if we still have work now. No? And uh, this, is, this year is really a year to survive. And uh, be focused on the essentials. No? And to live. And of course... Uh, what happened also to all of us is definitely ambiguous. That's why we tend to be fragile in our mind, in our heart, in our feelings. We were devastated. That's why we have some nervousness. We have some, uh, some uh, anxiety attacks, no? worries, somewhat uh, tendency to be sad and lonely. And uh, because of that, being fragile from the, the heart, to the, to, the, to the feelings, the behavior, to our habits and character, we were also shattered with our psychological well-being. And our psychological well-being is not only our personal, social, but of course, our career, our academic life for those who are studying in the post-grad and some trainings that we have, some certifications. Of course, now, the flourishing life and of course, in the digital world that we have, we have what we call the digital wellness as well. So in order for us to be agile, which is what we call being agile, learning agility and in all aspects, and we also have what we call professional humility and also what we call mentally, mental toughness by the study of work, that in order for us to, to be agile from volatility, we have to really go for our vision. Ano po ba talaga yung vision natin as a teacher? as a parent, as a second parent to our students. As we go in August, in depth ed, in the private schools that we are in, in the institutions, are we a mentor? Are we a, are we a coach? No? So 
iba na ho yung dati. So we really have to go for paradigm shifting and speed. And of course, uh, growing mindset is very important to have the right vision, to go for understanding, to also be clear, and of course, to be agile. And uh, in social psychology, let us always remember that the kind of environment that we have influence the type of behavior of the people. And uh, our behaviors are rooted really from our mindset. Now, according to the study of Dr. Carol Dweck, if we have a fixed or growing mindset, okay? And uh, aside from the schools that we have, we also have our family, which is our first resource, our loved ones, our environment. And our environment now is uh, really no? coming from uh, technology, high technology, uh, globalization, doing our best, no? the pandemic that we face. And prior to these are the negative experiences that we had. No? And it affects not only our, uh, our life, but uh, it is coming from what? From the thoughts to the belief, to the affect, to the behavior. And of course, this is what we call the attitude that we have. And uh, our attitude is also composed of our mind, our heart, and our character strength. Okay? And this is also the gauge of psychological well-being. And uh, understanding well-being in the basic concept and also on the mental health uh, law and of course also on the on the, the World Health Organization uh, uh, component or concept, it is what they call the ability to reach your fullest potentials in all aspects of your life. No? So, pantay-pantay ho yan holistically. So, physical, so dapat ho gumagalaw tayo. Of course, our mindset, mental, our emotional, our family, our social health. And of course, if you anchor on a spiritual being, it is also what it calls spiritual concept. No? And for those who are not uh, really believing in God, of course, I, I, I do uh, respect you guys. For those who are atheists or for those who are also nomotheists who are seeking God, okay? So I do, I do respect you for that. No? And uh, these concepts, and uh, we have to add now the digital literacy and of course the digital wellness is what they call what they call psychological well-being. Okay. And in the framework of the Harvard Center for Wellness, uh, which is part of my poll, ano po yung pinaka-importante part ng well-being ninyo? Okay. Is it more on the physical, especially in this pandemic? Is it more on the relational or social, the vocational or career development? Is it more on the emotions? Are you... Are you uh, are you somewhat guided by your emotions in making your decisions and for you to be psychologically well? Are you more on finances? No? Are you more on the intellect? Are you more on the, the, the environment that you have? And of course, the spiritual. No? So kindly answer this. Okay? And tingnan po natin kung ano po yung pinaka-importante ngayon. So actually, uh, I'm so overwhelmed by the support no? kasi... Uh, we have uh, 1,500 daw pong nag-register ngayon. And uh, pasensya na po that uh, the Zoom can only accommodate 500. That's why we just shared uh, the live. No? And I do hope that uh, that you feel uh, blessed and that I do hope that you understand na hindi ho lahat ma-accommodate. But we opened uh, the FB live. No? So tingnan nun natin. Ano pong pinaka-importante sa inyo? Okay? In the in the well-being component okay, yeah. of the well-being framework. Yeah. Uh, Sheikh, we now have 50% responses yeah. on the poll. Siguro, ano, ano pa natin, no? Extend See, yes. pa natin a bit para, kasi magandang, alam mo, napakagandang study rin ito, Sheikh and Kaisa, kasi we have yeah. 500 people in the room. Yeah, so yeah. imagine mo, we ask 500 teachers kung... Yes, yeah, kung oh, oh. Tama, di ba? You so ask them kung ano yung most programs. important. Oh, oh. Right. Mm -hmm. Anong, siguro, Kaisa and Sheikh, no, while people are answering, why do you think it's important for us to understand where we are in this circle? Yeah, it is very important kasi ito yung strengths mo. No? Mm -hmm. so, importante na malaman mo yung uh, kung ano preferred mo at saka kung ano yung medyo hindi preferred ng tao. 
para malaman natin yung strengths na pinaghuhugutan nila at right. ano naman yung mga weakness nila. And right. this component will definitely anchor you to give a purpose in your life. No? Kung saan ka talaga malakas at saan ka mahina. And of course, uh, also at the end of the activity, I do hope that you can do something about it. Correct. So we now have 66%. What about you, Kaisa? Why do you think this is important to you, knowing kung nasaan ka dyan sa circle? Niisip ko din naman na if I know what's important to me, I'll also know what to take care of. So, kunyari, alam ko na very important sa well-being ko ang relational. So, relationships with people. And hindi ko alam ba't ako stressed or hindi ko alam ba't ako nag-worry. I can look at what's important to me and I can look at what I can address or what I can... Um, parang indicator siya eh, na nasistress ka, minsan di mo alam kung bakit or bakit ka worried. Ngayon, titingnan mo ano yung importante sa akin in terms of well-being. Pwede mong tingnan kung ano yung nakukulangan, ano yung hindi mo na-address. So, I think that's why it's important to know this. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, so, I'm gonna release the result na Shake and Kaisa. No, we now have 370 teachers who've responded. Yeah. That's 72% oh, percent of the total room. Mm-hmm. Sige, I'm releasing the results na. I'm launching it. Sige, dear. So, para ma-rank din natin kung ano yung... Yeah, okay. So, most of the Filipinos talaga are really spiritual. And even our teachers really anchor, no? Okay? Their, uh, their well-being on spiritual strength, no? And this is what they call anchored also in the character strengths of, uh, of Saligman. This is also anchored with transcendence, no? That you can see the silver lining amidst the, 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 the negative situations that we have, no? Kaya malakas ang resiliency talaga ng Filipino. The ability to bounce back after a difficulty because of a spiritual anchor, okay? Number two is emotional, no? Yan. So, uh, ina-anchor din nila yung strengths nila in, the, in their emotions, no? Kaya kung makikita nyo, mga Pilipino, mahilig talaga sa telenovela. <laughs> so, madaling maawa, no? Pag naglokong isang government employee, madaling makalimot, no? Because of the, they are mandated. Their mind are mandated by their emotion. Okay? And number three, uh, ang pinaka-importante sa kanila, a little lang, no? From 8%, no? One standard deviation lang from physical to relational. So, marami talaga nag-exercise ngayon. Okay? So, uh, and then of course, the fourth one is relational. So, your relational can be a positive connection to your family, which is the number one resource of the Filipinos. Kaya lang, marami rin tayo mga OFW families ngayon. Of course, single parents, etc. So, loved ones, no? Okay? And nakalimutan ko nga dito yung pets, eh. It can also be relational. <laughs> and then, of course, the the fifth can be the financial, no? Tama ba? Yeah, together with environment. Ah, sorry, the fifth can be intellectual, okay? So, the IQ. Maraming salamat. Nakakatuwa, no? Ang, uh, ating, uh, ang ating Paul, no? That uh, somewhat we are really transcending. Kaya matatag ang Pino. Eh, matatag po ang mga Filipino teachers. Number two, in the study, and in the bowels and uh, et al. No? So the digital wellness, uh, very important po ngayon that we flourish in the digital age. And what do you mean by flourishing in the study or in the model of uh, positive psychology? In the mental health spectrum po, no? ito po kasi yung uh, average, the moderate mental health. No? But if we want to be free from mental health disorders, this is what you call the flourishing life. Or uh, ito po talaga yung matatag na tao. Somewhat, on the preventive side, ito po talaga yung medyo uh, malakas po yung mga protective factors nila. And uh, ito po yung mga tao na medyo hindi kagad madaling kapitan ng mental health problems. That is what you call the flourishing life. Okay? And uh, tingnan po natin sa poll ngayon, Ano po ngayon ang kailangan natin in this digital age? Anong pinaka-importante sa atin? So these are all chunks of uh, well-being. Pero dito po sa model na ito, ang well-being, it's all about the online and offline balance. No? 
having the self-expression and creativity, the inspiration, the positive uh, emotion, and of course, the meaning and purpose, okay? which is also one of the big chunks in the study of Dr. Carol Reef, uh, okay? also on psychological well-being. Pero hindi ko ginamit yun kasi mas maganda ito dahil ito ay talagang tumutugon ngayon sa bagong buhay or what we call the new flourishing normal or what we call the new flourishing now. So ano po ang pinaka-importante nyo ngayon para ho in August as we face our students and the online learning wherein we also collaborate with our parents as partners. Ano po ang pinaka-importante ngayon na, na, na well-being or health or aspects na gusto nyo? Okay? Uh, at meron po kayo, is it more on the mental? Is it more on the relationships? Is it more on the physical? Okay? Is it more on the productivity, the work-life balance? Actually, uh, uh, I don't believe in work-life balance, but it's what they call the, the new, the new concepts that we have is what they call the new, uh, the work-life harmony. Kasi wala naman po talagang balance sa buhay. Kahit nga ikakasal ka, hindi ka pa rin, uh, hindi ka pa rin sigurado. Okay? <laughs> So, very important is the tech hygiene, which is also on the digital wellness focus. Managing distractions, lo, nalo na po ngayon, work from home po tayong lahat. My kids are all here. <laughs> Navigating technology with ease. Yeah, so yung marami ni kasi may problema, lalo na sa public school, of course, uh, uh, yung iba, hindi ho talaga prepared no, to paradigm shift. Uh, somewhat we are anxious and nervous in using a lot of LMS now. So Canvas. So, so school where I'm working now, FEU Manila and Makati. So we are using really Canvas. And uh, of course, even though I'm somewhat pa millennial and pa Gen Z, syempre marami rin complications talaga because uh, maganda siya pero ang dami kasing, uh, ang dami kasing tools. Kaya talagang uh, we really have to, to do something. Okay? And digital citizenship, no? so being uh, informed, interesting, of course, a responsible citizen, and of course, the well-being. Okay? So, pili po tayo. In order for us to flourish in this digital age, in the study of Herscher et al., ano po? No? In the new normal, okay? to have a flourishing new normal. Sige, tingnan natin. John, tingnan natin ah, kung ano, ilang percent na yung nag-aano. Nag, so, uh, you can now, uh, So, there's now 68 percent, Shay. Wow, ang bilis, ang bilis ang participants uh -oh. natin. Yeah. Maybe we can read some parts of the chat, Kaisa, while some people are answering. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. so, okay, ano uh, maraming mga... chumishika. Siguro, Kaisa, let, let us in on some of the, like, very interesting comments in the chat box. Yes. Yeah, so, madami nang sumasagot sa chat chat box natin. No? Iba-iba din yung sagot. Pero madami akong nakikita na well-being daw ang isa sa mga pinaka-important sa kanila. So si Ma'am Noemi, Ma'am Ellen, Ma'am April, Ma'am uh, Maria Rosavilla, lahat po sila. Ma'am Alma din, well-being yung sagot. Um, meron din pong nagsabi na physical health daw si Ma'am Cherry. Sabi niya, physical health po ako kasi uh, makakapag-isip ka ng maayos kapag healthy ang body, mind, and heart. So, yun naman ang tingin ni Ma'am Cherry. Um, yun. So, madaming iba-iba dyan, no? Pero ang dami kong nakikita na well-being ang sagot. Mm -hmm. Wow, All that's right. good. Okay. Si Ma'am Joan, relationship naman. So, mostly well-being, mm, pero meron din physical and relationship. Okay. Yeah, Siguro, so, let's, let, we can release that. It's 75%. Yeah, 380 sige. people. That's good. So, meaning and purpose is very important talaga, no? lalo na ngayon. Lalo na ngayon pandemic. Sige natin if it will validate nga kung yun ba talaga. Yeah. Okay? So, we have ang taas, no? Ang taas ng uh, standard deviation niya compared to the others, no? Or the distance. So, well-being is 33%. So, very important po na nagbigay ho talaga ng ng meaning and purpose sa atin, no? Okay? And uh, it's also what you call somewhat, no? Consistent with the poll that we had that it's somewhat really transcendent, no? Yung nagbibigay po ng ating, uh, ng ating lakas sa panahon na ito. And of course, the positive emotions and the 
the inspiration. Ano po ba ang purpose at meaning nyo ngayong uh, teacher po tayo? And also as a second parent, and of course as a parent for those who are parent really, their respective families, no? Or kayo yung mga titos and titas na wala pang anak, you can also be a parent, no? And then yan, very important po talaga yung somewhat i-harmonize natin yung online and offline, okay? And of course, marami rin po talaga ngayon yung creative. Maraming negosyo, maraming teachers na nag-bake, maraming nagtinda, no? Okay? So, maganda po yan. Number two is uh, 15% is digital citizenship. Yeah. So, I think yun po yung uh, inourish natin. Kasi alam nyo, in the Hootsuite study, uh, Pilipinas ang number one in the research in January 2020. No? And uh, also, you know, Hello? Ako, parang nawala si Ma'am Shake. Oo nga. O sige, let's wait for let's wait for Shake guys. Ha? Pero let's let's start to talk about this. What do you think about um hello? Yes, John. Can you hear can, you can hear me naman, no? Okay, sige. I think everyone else can hear me. So, while we wait for Shake to reconnect. Shake, are you here na? Yeah, yeah, I'm here na. Ayan, okay, okay. Kasi nag-disconnect ka for, for six seconds, seven seconds. Oh, sorry. No worries. Kaling mo mag-ano, grabe. Six seconds talaga. Sige. Yeah. Second you, stopped, is, you, you stopped in ano, di ba? You talked about well-being. Tapos I think uh, now you start talking about mental health and then digital citizenship. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. So, pangalawa po ngayon is mental, no? So, very important po talaga yung ating thought processes, no? Very important po talaga. Mamaya, we'll have a little activity we'll squeeze in in the 40 minutes. So, it's all about uh, positive social comparison, no? And then, uh, marami po tayo yung uh, isa marami tayo naiingget, no? Okay? And then, of course, the intentional and positive, uh, positive views, okay? And then, coping strategies are really overwhelming. And then, of course, self-care. Marami po talaga na uh, hindi ho nagsa-self-care kasi yung work from home talaga ay mas toxic no? kung hindi natin mamamanage. Kaya importante po, if you are working 8 to 5, uh, dapat ho talaga 8 to 5 lang or how many calls lang ho talaga to manage it and schedule it. Okay? Number three is digital citizenship. No? So very important po talaga that uh, in the Hootsuite study in uh, January 2020, Philippines po ang number one sa dyan, no? Aside from the COVID. <laughs> so, uh, nagbababad ho ang mga Filipino ng nine hours in the internet, including social media, which is composed of four hours. Gaming, especially for the young, the Gen Z's and the millennial. And of course, uh, shopping. Napakarami hong nag, uh, nag uh, internet shopping. And of course, uh, uh, and of course, uh, uh, entertainment and tools are also one of the aspects. Okay? So, important that we go for our well-being. Okay? Next. So, this is the anchor of the webinar that I'm going to, to, to also give you. Okay? And uh, this is coming from the Cognitive Behavioral Model, which is IDOL, Aaron Beck. Dr. Aaron Beck is a psychiatrist from uh, the University of Pennsylvania. It was one of the Ivy League's uh, school in the, uh, in, the, in the U.S. And of course, Dr. Judith Beck, who is now the president of the Cognitive Theory, or what they call the, the Beck Institute in Pennsylvania. And uh, we are fortunate to, to be you know, uh, and study in the Beck Institute uh, for Cognitive Behavior Therapy. And uh, somewhat, it is a, a, a dream for all of psychologists and counselors. And it's quite but you really have to invest in your career. And as a Filipino, striving to, to go for that, uh, for that training, I really, uh, I really message the Bex Institute if I can get a discount because it's really very expensive. No? But it was really worth uh, the cost. No? And uh, sabi po no Bex Institute, Shake, if you want to really have a discount, bring uh, two Filipinos with you. For you to be three, and I'll give you somewhat 40% discount. No? And I brought all my PGC-8 teammates, all the PGC officers, 
to go to Philadelphia to train. So we had the discount. <laughs> so lahat po na mga somewhat mga retiring uh, friends ko. Uh, this is Dr. Gwanson who is a, a medical doctor and these are all doctors in their respective fields from Ateneo, from uh, La Salle and other schools. No? So po, nakapunta po kami to, to God's blessing. So we were trained by, uh, by, uh, by the Bex. Okay? And because of that, uh, because of that connection, we also brought the Bex Institute and the University of the Philippines, wherein we train uh, registered counselors and psychologists in the country, in the University of the Philippines. Okay? Through their kindness, and uh, because of that, I was fortunate to be chosen as uh, one of the first reviewers of the Bex Institute programs in different uh, modules that they have, which are free. So I get to uh, to get all their programs and certifications for free because of that. And of course, I was also fortunate to to go to Positive Psychology Center and see some of their programs also in the University of Pennsylvania, which is one of my idols, Dr. Martin Seligman. You know? And uh, in my study in the University of Pennsylvania, they have what they call the 25 years of resilience research were in one of the major findings in all their uh, their uh, referee journals it's all about that when you talk about resilience program which is one of the strength based program uh, the the major uh, evidence base uh, uh, impact this so to call a decrease of symptoms and depression mental uh, decrease also on mental health concerns and substance abuse diagnosis of course decrease also on problems so hindi tayo mas magiging pasaway lalo na ang kabataan, and of course, decrease also on hopelessness, which is one of the major psychological capital in the, the model of, uh, of positive psychology. And it will definitely increase well-being in all aspects, mental health and life satisfaction, and we also have what they call the life satisfaction uh, standardized test, health promotion, okay? trust and social support, optimism and hope, Okay, for character, strength, psychological capital. Of course, social skills. And of course, classroom management. Okay? And uh, this is what they call the strengths-based program anchored with the, with the positive psychology. And uh, sabi ho dito, we have to go for our strengths. No? And for those who are spiritual, because most of us are spiritual, we go for our God-given strengths. No? And our God-given strengths are composed of our personal qualities, our abilities, our talents and skills okay, that we honed, especially in this pandemic, or that we strengthen, and of course, our interests and aspirations. So I really don't focus on the weakness, but I'm more on the strengths base. Okay? And uh, aside from the individual strengths, we also have to focus on the environmental strengths. And what are those environmental strengths that we have? These are all our resources, our family, our loved ones, no? our colleagues, okay? our school, our company. And of course, our pets can also be. Okay? Of course, our social network and all the opportunities that we have. Okay? And uh, if we come individual to the environmental strengths, then these are the eight inseparable uh, areas of life in the strengths-based approach which is what we call our daily living, our finances. Okay? And these are somewhat no? the different areas of our life. And if we combine all of our strengths, we will have what we call the desired results and we will have better quality of life and first accomplishments. And of course, success will follow, opportunities will follow, and we will have a recovery of power and social integration. Okay? So we will definitely be integrated whole person, which is definitely psychologically well. Okay? The ability to, 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 to reach your fullest potentials, okay? be successful in all aspects of your life, and of course, uh, the ability to also manage your stress, okay? and of course, the ability to contribute be, and be an advocate. Okay? So I'm doing this uh, PSED training as part of my advocacy, especially for well-being. Okay? And this trans-based uh, research coming also rooted from the program, uh, also what? 
in the many uh, researches affects change in them and we also what provide attitudes about their dignity so that's what we call uh, reaching the fullest potential of every person their capacities their rights their quirks their indifferences and of course their similarities and this is also coming from some of the books like Kevin Powell so we also use chance-based approach among at risk uh, youth as a parent we are also using this in the study of Waters and Healy et al. on sense-based parenting. So I'm using some sense-based parenting also with my kids. So yesterday they had what they call the superpower activity. And then uh, the sense-based child protection by the study of Oliver. That uh, as a second parent of our students, we have to anchor our students with uh, the friendly approach and humanistic approach you know, by Rogers but also backed up by firm discipline and fair agreement. So we are friendly, but we are also what we call uh, professional, and we are also guided by our ethics, especially the PRC ethics of becoming a professional teacher. But we also have to also be firm with our discipline and with fair agreement. So when you talk about firm discipline, it talks about pag gusto mo na mabait po yung inyong estudyante, and you also one respect, okay? Also have first to respect your Gen C, no? And of course, your Alpha Gen student. So that's what they call creating positive environment to them by being humanistic and professional. Of course, uh, uh, this is also uh, a strengths-based approach among employees, and we are also employees in our uh, in our schools, no? To increase employee performance and of course engagement. In the in the 2008 study, as cited by the American Psychological Association, with the study of Lead Beater et al., that we have to focus not on our weakness or problem focus approach, but uh, we are now on the strengths based approaches. So, build on our strengths and resources, no? that will definitely have what they call a long term impact. It will also provide primary prevention. So we, as a counselor, we are more on the preventive, while the psychologists are more on the remediative. Okay? And uh, this is also for proactive planning to sustain our strengths. And also, these are also for different target groups, okay? just like teachers. And uh, what comes to your mind when you talk about strength? Tingnan nga po natin, Kaisa, what comes to your mind or... Uh, when you talk about strength, it can be a word or a symbol. You can face your symbol if you want. So, tingnan nga natin, Kaisa, kung sino yung mga participants natin and what are some of their answers when they talk about their strength. So, sa ating mga participants, what comes to your mind when you talk about strength? Uh, may nagsabi na si Ma'am Violeta, sabi niya endurance. Um, yeah. Ma'am Shela, si Ma'am, si Sir Rodel, sorry, ang bilis eh. Si Sir Rodel, sabi niya, it's something that you're good at. That is the strength. That is your yeah, strength. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Some of your abilities, your talents, no? your skills. Okay. Yes. And then, interesting kasi merong isa, sabi niya, happy. So, that's the word that yeah. comes. Yeah. Being happy is also very important, which is a non-cognitive skills. Okay. And uh, in and then, my work... Mm -mm. Sorry, go ahead. Sige. Yeah. In my work in the department, one of the, the indicators that we are doing as part of our research is that when we create a mental health program, it's what we call the happiness indicator. No? So, kung yung program ba natin is, aside from uh, prevention of suicide and drug prevention, which is one of the, the top priorities of the president, happiness is indicator is one of the, of the things that we are also doing. Okay? Ang, ang, ang bilis ng oras, five minutes na lang. Okay? <laughs> so, in the study of, uh, of Siegel, very important po no, that pos in positive psychology, that strengths are built based on our thoughts, our feelings, and our behavior. No? So, pag tama po yung ating pag-iisip, magiging tama ang ating puso at ang ating behavior and our character strength, what will happen? Yan po ang ating lakas. No? And we can prevent mental health problems. And tama yung sinabi kanina ng ating participant, it is the capacity to endure, to manifest energy, to resist temptations, no? To withstand great force, 
and to do the things that need a lot of physical and mental effort. And uh, these are also the strong positive attributes or assets. So strengths in various forms can be your interests. No? And uh, some of my interests are into youth empowerment. Okay? So we created the peer organization of the Philippines because we believe that, that uh, the, the youth can also empower their, their co-youth. And of course, traveling, but unfortunately, we cannot do it now. So in my dreams. Okay? And then some of their skills can also be our strengths. And this is what you call photography, you know, which is a little, uh, uh, some of the things that I want to really do in my spare time. And somewhat a little posting with my husband. <laughs> and then, of course, my advocacy, you know, that I'm also doing uh, gratis at Jos, you know? Now with webinars and, of course, some guest things, you know, and... Uh, some of the, the, the books that I've also made you know, with the Rex publication. I've made an eight book series for my career journey, wherein uh, the royalty is paid, you know, was donated to the Philippine Guidance and Counseling Association. And I've also created uh, uh, the, the anti-bullying handbook, which were given to different schools in the country. And of course, uh, now I've made a foundation, the, the Adolescent Toolkit that we are also providing to different institutions. And what are your resources? No? Ano po yung mga resources natin? The resources can be your... Uh, sorry, John, mag-extend mag, mag lang ng konti. These are all your... Our God, if we believe in God or being, our loved ones, no? our service to our community or we have a church with you. Of course... Uh, I do, I do believe uh, we're uh, lucky to be featured in a magazine, and this is what you call the families again. That in times of tests, definitely family is your number one resource. And the strength of the family lies also in its capacity to love and be loved, which is also your character strength. Also be what? Be coming from your, your loved ones, no? and your networks, and your family, and your and uh, in order for us to, to fight mental health problems and to prevent mental health problems, we have to discover our strengths. Okay? And uh, in discovering our strengths, we have a formula. So discover your talents and your talent is what we call the natural way of thinking and behaving. And you multiply it by investment and the investment your efforts, your purposeful effort to practice, to develop your knowledge in order for you to have what you call the, 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 the big strength, okay? So you can multiply 10 times investment, 70 times investment in order for you to constantly provide a near-perfect performance in different aspects of your life, okay? Especially in your spirituality, which is uh, one of the strengths that you have, and of course, in your weakness, okay? And these are what we call, we have what we call the realized strengths. And we also have to use our unrealized strengths that we realize because of what? Because of the pandemic. So this is also the blessings of pandemic. And yung mga weaknesses ninyo, yan po ay data natin para matuto. Okay? Hindi naman natin kakalimutan yan, but we have to to focus on it also. Sige. Sandali, konti, konti na lang. And uh, one of the strengths that we also have to nourish is what we call the digital citizenship and well-being PRs. No? And uh, sana po mas tatagan din ho natin ngayon because we are really in the digital world and the age of disruption. Our digital foundation, mas i-update po natin yung skills natin or else madidepress tayo at may iiwan tayo. Okay? Promoting health and well-being and resiliency through technology Okay, being an inspiration to others and managing it as well. Your digital engagement in being inclusive and what is important now is not only on the IQ and EQ, adversity quotient and social quotient, but also on the, dig, uh, dig, uh, the, the diversity and the digital intelligence. So we have to be inclusive. Of course, digital empowerment and digital opportunities. Okay. So, so I do hope that we focus on our strength. Okay? which is very important in order for us to, to, to manage it. And uh, yan po yung pinaka-importante, no? that we have to identify our strengths, 
and strengthen our strengths and also our, our realized strengths so that we can have a valued, meaningful experience and we will know our purpose as a teacher and we can better serve our students and our, our parents as we go in office. And uh, as we go for meaningful experience, now law of attraction, it will definitely provide you a lot of opportunities to develop and you will be successful as a teacher and you will be extraordinary teacher with gifted no? and anchored with positive psychological well-being and of course positive expectations will happen thank you ma'am shake Very yeah and this is my last uh, i do hope that we know our strengths and i do hope that we take advantage of them okay. so thank you so much i do hope that uh, you you learned something from this uh, strengths-based activity about uh, managing your psychological well-being. God bless you all. Thank you very ma much, Ma'am Shake. Very relevant yeah. webinar ngayon. And ako mismo, madami akong natutunan, no? So, one of which is that instead of focusing on our problems pala, we can focus on our strengths. So, instead of focusing just on our weaknesses and our challenges, we focus on our strengths, and by doing that, we also address what we're having difficulty with. So that's one thing. So, John, do we have time for questions? Siguro, um, Kaisa, since we only committed until 11 in the morning, I want to ask Sheikh. Sheikh, are you okay to stay in for probably five more minutes to entertain some questions, or you have another so, meeting? Okay. Sorry for extending. Sige, go, go lang. No problem. Okay lang. Sige, so Kaisa, let's take two more two questions lang. Tapos... Ask Siguro for the other questions, we can just ask a lot of them to add Shake in their LinkedIn accounts para makapagtanong sila kay Shake directly. <laughs> okay lang yun. Okay lang. At least mas marami kang connections moving forward. Siguro kayo sa... Yeah, yeah. You can search me na lang sa LinkedIn and uh, uh, in FB. Yeah, yeah. And in yeah. So kayo sa, sige, please, let's let's shoot kay, uh, Shake uh, uh, two questions. Okay, sige. So, um, ang isang question po na feeling ko very relevant to most of our participants is galing kay Ma'am Angelica Abilong. So, ang question niya is, is there a step-by-step -step process to reach well-being? Yeah, so, yeah. And, yeah, yun yung question niya. And then, siguro related to that, pwede na rin natin i-connect is how do you use yung strengths-based perspective or um, parang paradigm to reach well-being? Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, pinakita ko yun kanina. So, to focus on your strengths, I think I just want to reiterate it. At uh, this one. Sorry, ah. Uh. Balik tayo ng okay content. Lang, okay lang. No worries. Uh Oo. -oh. Pasensya na. Medyo mabilis kasi yung oras. I would like to go for sana for the cognition, pero wala na tayong oras. But, uh, I just would like to reiterate this. That, uh, this is the, the strengths-based approach. Okay? Aside from knowing your strengths, ito po yun, that we have to, to identify your strengths. Ay, sorry. sorry um, we can see your slide. We can see your folder ah, lang. Sorry, can you sorry. Sh shift mo lang yung screen share to ano? Share ko ulit, sorry. Yep, no worries. Mag-reflect siya pero ayaw maglumaban. <laughs> okay lang. Okay na? Okay na yan? Ayan, ayan. Okay. Ayan. Sige. So, importante po talaga na tumutok tayo hindi po sa ating mga problema. Or kung tututok tayo sa problema, sandali lang para umangat rin tayo in order for us to be resilient. No? And uh, this is the practical thing is that be aware of our strengths. No? And then, patatagin po natin yung strengthen po natin, especially our unrealized strengths. And then after that, we can have definitely matutuwa po tayo sa meaningful experience. And uh, after that meaningful experience, marami pong opportunities na gagawin na mangyayari. No? And of course, positive expectations will happen because lagi ho natin tatandaan that psychological well-being is anchored not only of the mind, not only of the feelings and the behavior, but our character strengths. Okay? So yan po yon, Yan po yung mga character strengths natin. And uh, very important po, hope resilience, knowing your purpose, always be grateful. Alam nyo, pag nagpapasalamat kayo every day, what will happen? Hindi kayo masyadong malulungkot because you will count every single blessings that you have. Okay? Alam nyo po ba yung self-efficacy by the study of Bandura? 
Self-efficacy has different types. It can be career. It can be on your teacher self-efficacy. And uh, this is a belief coming from your mindset that you can do a certain task. So pag naniniwala ho kayo, ako, I survived grad school. I survived my my schooling abroad because of naniniwala ho ako nakakayanin ko. Minsan nagpapatawa na lang ako pag mahirap <laughs> yung mga lectures. No? So it is the belief, no? your, your will. To, to, to believe in yourself that you can finish. So everything, every day, all will be well. That everything will be okay is very important. Okay? Ayan. Siguro po, ano natuto kayo? <laughs> Thanks. Nag-re-lecture ako ng konti. <laughs> okay lang yan. Kasi, ay, ay, alam mo, nakikita ko tuwang tuwa, Kaisa, at, at shake yung mga ating mga teachers. So, hindi pa sila umaalis kahit na 11 <laughs> o'clock na. Talagang dami silang natututunan sa iyo. Siguro Kaisa, one last question for Shake tapos I can close na for us para we can oh, end. Oh, Pinos ko na po para pag may tanong kayo sana. Wag lang pong ano, wag lang pong uh, uh, more kasi minsan may mga madaling araw so may love life din po tayo. Sa <laughs> 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 kami mga anak ko. <laughs> so, kailangan ko rin po ng self-care yan. So, that's my FB page on Instagram. And of course, my LinkedIn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Message po ako. Hindi naman ako, ano, hindi naman ako madamot. I can definitely talk to you. Okay. Okay. So, Ayan. ang isa pang question, Ma'am Sheik, is related to overthinking. So, parang ah, feeling yeah. ito niyang i-link ang mental well-being sa physical health. So, ang question niya, si Ma'am Celeste Dumas, is what would be some possible effects of overthinking to one's physical health. So, yung bridge ng mental at ng physical. Yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, isa yan sa mga topic ko kanina. Kaya lang, unfortunately, naubusan na tayo ng oras. Pero lagi niyo kong tatandaan. Uh, share ko lang, ah. Sandali. Para lang, ano. Share ko lang, sandali. Balik lang ako. Para lang, ano. Uh, minsan lang naman ako... Nandito sa PSD. <laughs> tama, tama. Oy, <laughs> tsaka dalasan mo. Baka in the future, alam mo Oy, na. Oy, dyan, hiramin din kita. <laughs> Hindi pwede <laughs> ako lang. <laughs> May barter talaga ito. Go na, go lang. barter trading to. Webinar barter. Tsaka si Kaisa na rin. <laughs> Oo. Ah, lagi, lagi niyo pong tatandaan. Uh, explain ko na lang kasi ayaw na screen share ko. Ba't ganun? Lagi niyo pong tatandaan na Ang ating pong uh, problema ay nanggagalit po sa ating worries, no? Sorry, sorry. Ay, sorry ah, pasensya na. Ang mga kausap ko dito ay precious din ang oras. Okay lang yan. Um, alam mo, ang ating digital, ano talaga, ang ating digital skills din minsan, nakaka-apekto rin talaga yan sa ano, no? Tsaka syempre, huwag kang ma-pressure. Pinipre alam ko pinipressure ka namin na alam time na ganit all. Pero... Just, just, ano, just internalize what you have to say na lang. And yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, no? Okay? Tatandaan nyo po in the cognitive behavior, bakit ayaw? Mm, oo nga. Ayaw nyo mag-screen share. Ayan, okay na ba? Not Ayan. yet. Sandali, sandali, sandali. Ito, nag-share na, tingnan natin. Wait, wait. Ito na ba, dear? Yan na? Nakikita na lang presentation. Yeah, that's good. Yan. It, it's... Kita namin yung presentation mo, pero what specifics? Ayan. Yan. Okay. okay na? Ayan ah, na? Sige. Okay na? Ah, ah. Okay na? Yes. yes. Okay. So actually po, ito po yung situation. This is the pandemic, no? And the pandemic can definitely give you a lot of worries. And this is what we call our thoughts which can definitely create your belief system. So, pag nag-belief system po kayo, kunyari ang pandemic ay nakakatakot. So, you will definitely overthink and that is what you call the automatic thought, which is a quick thought that can definitely be a cancer in your brain. No? So, ito po yung tinatawag na cognitive dissonance. And uh, one cognitive, uh, type of cognitive dissonance is what you call overthinking. So, pag nag-overthink po kayo because of the situation, Negative feelings, negative behavior, negative physical reaction, and a mental health disorder will follow. Okay? Kaya ang problema po ay hindi problema sobrang kaisin natin. Okay? And the belief system that we created. Okay? Understood? Yeah, very clear. Thank you so much for sharing this framework yeah. to us, Sheik. Sige. 
Ang dami, ang dami na, ang dami ko natutunan today kay sa Enshake. Grabe. As in, sobrang, like, I feel, I feel like we can actually have you for half a day instead of just an hour. <laughs> Oh, hindi ko ba doing. Gusto ko lang three concepts lang eh, hindi ko ba ko ba three. Kaya kag sabi ko, paano ko ba ano 'tong lawak-lawak ng topic? Ang hindi. Oh, oh. Kailangan ng part 2 diyan. Tama Ay, tama. Si John na yung utang niya sa akin. Tama. Kasi <laughs> well, I- alam mo ako basta open ang schedule shake up. Oh, sige, dear. Ah. Schedule. Bigyan pagbigyan talaga yung kita. Guys, sige. <laughs> Oo. Tas so so everyone Una-una, maraming salamat, Shake and Kaisa, for saying yes to this. Alam niyo po, kaya ako natutuwa dun sa ginawa natin na training needs analysis at saka yung pong pag-invite natin sa ating mga teachers. Kasi madali po tayong nakakuha ng involvement sa mga tao as volunteers because they know the value of this um, of this movement, right? Um, and siguro my last point is I want to focus on Shake's point kanina about the formula for strength. Sabi oh, yeah. ni Shake kanina, the formula for strength is Talent times investment equals yeah. strength. So that your talent. That is Gallup's model. Yeah, exactly. Exa- yeah. I was gonna say that. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, so si talent. It's this is already who you are. This is the natural yeah. way of thinking, your feeling, and behaving. Yeah. And right now, what you have, what you currently have, regardless of whatever external factors are happening, that's your talent. That's you. Um. So, ang gusto ko pa sabihin is, eto po ang mga webinars na to. It's not supposed to provide you skill or competence. It's supposed to inspire you so that you can create an investment of time and effort so that you can make your talents some new strengths. All right? So it's up to you. It's up to you where you want to invest on dun sa mga natutunan nyo kay Shake, dun sa mga matutunan nyo in the next seven sessions. Kasi we can only do so much in terms of learning. Ako ba unang-una? Ako ba unang-una dun sa ano nyo? Yes, ikaw ang unang-una. Uh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> ikaw ang unang <laughs> act. <laughs> so, yun po yung aking gustong thought, no? Una, that for you to be able to capitalize on the learning that you get from Shake, you have to invest. You have to invest on effort. You have to invest on time. Yeah. So that you can start building competencies in relation to maintaining your well-being. And my last thought is this. Um, you know, alam nyo po si PSTD has grown in terms of community and we've been helping so many people in the last three months of crisis. Nandito po kami as a community so that we can all learn as one. Alright? Kasi mahirap pong matuto ng nag-iisa. Alalahanin nyo po yan. As teachers, you all know this. We need a certain community. And right now, we have a very strong community for you that's providing a lot of these free learnings. And some of them are paid, pero most of them are free. Join the community. Follow us, share us to your friends so we can affect more people, inspire more people, and we can continue on surviving this pandemic as a community of very, very strong educators and talent development practitioners. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Shay, Kaisa, Luz, yeah, Nat, who are in so the much. backdrop, thank you so much. Sa mga teachers po na nandito at nagstay, my God, it's already 10 minutes overtime, pero nandito pa rin po sila. At talaga, Masalanan ko yan okay. kasi ang haba na sila. No, pero, <laughs> pero that's fine. Alam mo, shake the fact, Sorry, that the, teacher, that the fact that the teachers are still here and listening to you just means that they really found your sharings very important. And this is 500 plus lives inspired in Zoom and another 100 plus lives inspired in Facebook Live. Right? And ako, tuwang-tuwa ako kasi as long as we can keep the inspiration coming out, kahit na meron lang tayong few people who will actually do something significant from those group of people that were inspiring, oh my God, we can create so much difference in the world. So maraming maraming salamat yeah. po sa inyo lahat. See you in the next sessions, ha? Mag-register po kayo sa future sessions ng PSTD. Bye po. Bye, Shake. Bye, Kaisa. Bye, Thank Luz. you, guys. Thank you, so Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. Thank you po.